Hey everybody, I'm Tor Cantos, and here's another video. For the fifth time, I'm here with... Microchip! Say hello. What's up? And Little Light 95, who is exceedingly little, so we bought her a stepping stool that she's going to promptly trip over and die, my friend. And today, you're going to have an abnormally still and boring video. It's, it's hard to have three people in a video that's constantly going, wah, 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 wah. Ain't that the truth? Anyway, so today, what I want to talk about is tattoos. So my tattoo idea I've had for many, many years, at least 10 years. You know, my full sleeves, my back piece, how long have I had that? 10, 12 years? Something like that. Which you gotta think, yeah. I was like eight, maybe nine, whenever I thought up this. Because he's tattoos, such a genius. Tattoos weren't a part of my thing then, because I was eight or nine. So my tattoo idea is rather large. Two full sleeves and involves a back piece. I also want some miscellaneous shit here and there. So what's your opinion on tattoos? I love tattoos. I have six of my own. They're awesome, dude. She, she does have several tattoos. What about you? I'm going to get some tattoos myself. I They're slacking. So we don't have really any cons here. I know a lot of people have told me, like, Oh, you're going to get tattoos. You're going to ruin your body. I see them as a work of art. Like, would you buy some art to put on your wall? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So why the fuck wouldn't you buy some art to put on your body? Like, yo, that looks baller. I want that on my tit. So I'm going to put it there. Like, a lot of people, I've heard a lot of arguments. People are like, okay, that's really expensive. You're not wrong. But you got to think, the Mona Lisa can't even be insured because it costs so much. It's actually priceless. It's one of the only things that I can think of off the top of my head other than, like, you know, natural landscapes. Like, you can't put a price on the Grand Canyon. I guess, like, yeah. a little piece of it you could, but, like, that's not happening. It's not shit that you can do. So, why wouldn't you pay for, I mean, when it comes to tattoos, you get what you pay for. If you go and you get a $20 tattoo, if it's by your friend, it might be good. Or, it might be a smiley face. You're like, oh man, I want, I want a cross with a dragon coming out of it and breathing fire across and up in my back and swords coming out over my shoulders. Here's 20 bucks, man, go crazy. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Go home, kid. Thanks for 20 bucks. <laughs> Shit. Get Guess he didn't for. think that one through. And now it's there forever. Anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of my stance. Uh, what would be your ideal tattoo? Like, I do you, hold on. Do you have a dream tattoo? Yes. Okay, so what would it be? Give us a description. Well, my dream tattoo... I'd have a dragon going down my stomach to my chest. Okay. With knives coming out of it on the sides. And fire. I on feel the bottom. I feel like uh, I feel like I've heard this one before. And fire on the bottom. I feel no. I feel like you almost uh, took the one that I said. Never. I feel like I kind of influenced her dream tattoo. No, he didn't. I feel like she's full of shit. You're out of the video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never do that. If I wanted to do that, I'd do it off camera, where the death could be covered up. He thinks. What about you? Dream tattoo. I actually am. My dream tattoo is just one sleeve. It's a Celtic cross with a dream catcher behind it. Not bad. It's very simple. Simplistic. I like it. So we have mythical and kind of stolen. And we have simplistic. That's kind of. Well, I wouldn't say two extremes. I mean, you could go into some crazy detail and meaning. But, I mean, that's really the two ends of the spectrum. You have, like, you know, I want a cross. Doesn't get much more basic than that. What do you see when you walk into a tattoo parlor? A wall full of roses, dream catchers, and crosses. Don't forget what else smiley do you faces. See? And smiley faces. Yeah, I guess you do see a few of those, usually in skulls. So my dream tattoo. I don't know if I've ever told you this. I've told him this. A time or two. He's probably changed since then. So, what it does... Starts here at the wrist. Starts with iron plates. Comes all the way down. So, all the way up to here, you have iron plates. Right at the elbow region, it breaks apart into tree roots. Tree comes all the way up to here, 
Foliage starts here and covers my entire shoulder around the back and on to the front a little bit. Across the back, you have a dragon that has a loop right here. Dragon head comes up on my shoulder, breathes fire down at the elbow again, turns to um, uh, ice. Well, water, I guess. It has that transition period between the fire and the ice. I hadn't really thought that one out. I'm thinking maybe crystals at that point. And then it comes down, and you have ice shards at the wrist again. Make them about right there on each hand. You know, so you can still put on a business suit and look very professional. That's my dream tattoo. Obviously, I want some more miscellaneous stuff. I want a penguin playing an electric guitar, shooting out red fire, <laughs> going, wow, right here. That way, when I take my shirt off to go swimming, they're like, wow. And they're like, yeah, I got a penguin on my boob. Jack Skellington's better, dude. No. Yeah. Penguins are where it's at. So, shoot us a comment right down there, way down there, down past the description, down past the videos, into the comment section, and let us know what's your dream tattoo. Okay, you've had enough time to write it. Now get back up to the video where we can talk to you! I'm sorry, that was offensive. Speaking of offensive, that brings me into my next line here. What offends you? Like, there's, there's a lot of PC, aka politically correct things, floating around in, in the world. I'm not the most PC guy. Don't know if you noticed, but I'm hanging out here with a fat ass and a lesbian fuck. Not exactly a politically correct group. But, you know, it is what it is. They're my fucking idiot friends. And, you know, we do shit together. It's pretty fun. I think I set your beard on fire once. I think I did that once. He fell asleep I also set my own. I also set my own beard on fire once. My, I think twice. Beard, not beer. I have never set my beer on fire. I think you set your beard on fire twice. I've set my beard on fire a few times. Whenever I was... Story time with Torque! Whenever I was younger... I would head over to his house after school. He lived in the same town. And uh, me being the band kid I, that I was, I was a French whore. That's some Christmas spirit for you right there, motherfucker. I'd go hang out over at his house, and I didn't quite like shaving. You know, being a freshman in high school, and you know, having some pubes on your face. You're like, I don't want to shave. So, me, and the smart guy I was, we were like, I know what I'll get rid of it. Let's take some rubbing alcohol and... So at that point, there might be a video floating around out there somewhere of my entire head engulfed in flames as a freshman. It was interesting. It was funny. Wish it was I pretty funny. This. I uh, jumped into a ditch filled with muddy rainwater to put myself out. Needless to say, I didn't have to shave for a few weeks. I was missing this half of my eyebrows, and it looked like I had shaved the sides of my head into a high and tight. Everything was also singed and like scraggly and like ah, volcano eruption aftermath. Looked kind of like that. Looked kind of like this, not cut. But that's why I wear this to work. That's right. I'm professional. I wear beanies to work. Pop it up like that. Yo, duh. No, I can't even. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even. So, in terms of politically correct, what would you rather be called? African American or black? I'm just saying I wouldn't want to be called either because I'm not. But that's just me. I mean, these fucks might be black. I don't know. I mean, you know, shit happens, I guess, you know. <laughs> Oops, we brought the wrong baby home again, sweetheart. Would you look at that? Little Jimmy is actually little Shaniqua. If your name is Jimmy or Shaniqua, shout out to you. I don't mean any offense, but really. Does it really matter? Like, yo, what if my name was Jimmy? It's not. But if it was, would I be getting offended over calling myself Shaniqua? No. Nope. I'd be a hot ass Shaniqua, like, yo. Curl up this mustache, get my fake boobies going, and be like, Hey, baby, you want some of this Shaniqua action? No. Nope. That's a no. I gotta say, though, as far as uh, being not politically correct, if you go up to somebody, Woo, woo, girl, you got a nice ass! And you keep walking by, she has every fucking right to punch you right in the face. Give me, give me a good slap. 
that wasn't a good slap. I was expecting so much harder. No, you can't slap me. <laughs> he, he slaps incredibly hard. I don't want you to slap on my face. <laughs> it's going right way. All right. So, uh, please ignore the murdering that's going on behind me. Oh, try to block that out. Anyway, I think that's all the time we have today. On microchip. This is Light 95. I'm Torcantos. Stop by, give me a video idea. I'll be happy to see your comment, and I'll definitely mention you in my next video. Till then, peace!